Hey, this is Summer with Summer Lee Design Co. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a one by one twisted rib. A lot of times when a pattern calls for one by one ribbing, it looks like this. This is how we typically do one by one ribbing. You just knit like normal and you purl like normal. Some knitters do not like the way that this turns out looking. Um, it can look a little wobbly, like I don't know if you can see here, um, but some of your stitches maybe get a little stretched out with one by one rib, and it's hard to get it to look really perfect and really neat. So the twisted one by one rib is basically where you knit through the back loop and you purl through the back loop, all in an effort to get a nice neat rib. Your lines of stitches, especially your stockinette, are really neat and really even. So that's the purpose of it. That's why people do it. It's fairly simple to do. Knitting through the back loop is really easy. That was my phone. Sorry. <laughs> There's always going to be extraneous noise in my videos. I live with two kids, two dogs, a cat, and a husband, and things just make noise. Anyways, so I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to be knitting through the back loop and purling through the back loop. And as I was saying, knitting through the back loop is relatively simple. Purling through the back loop can be a little fiddly at first, but once you get used to it, it's really easy. I will say that one by one twisted rib goes a little slower than regular one by one rib. So if you don't mind the look of one by one rib, you can just keep doing it. I mean, I think it looks beautiful regardless. I love little imperfections. They don't really bug me. Um, and it goes much faster to knit one by one rib the regular way. But if you are a perfectionist and you really, really love the neatness of these through the back loop stitches, then twisted one by one rib is for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So... Let me get my yarn. It's always hard to do this on camera. I, I really cannot express that enough. <laughs> like it's super awkward. Okay, here we go. I think you can see. Okay, so we're going to knit through the back loop. And as you can see, I go behind the stitch. I go in through the back loop. You're going under your left needle through the back loop. And we're just gonna knit that. And that is knitting through the back loop. Now to purl through the back loop, we bring our yarn forward like we normally would, but we're gonna be putting our needle in a little different. So we're going to shove it up behind. You see how my needle is coming up almost in between these two stitches? That's where you're gonna be shoving it from behind. And then you're just gonna shove it through the stitch and Pearl. And I'll show you this a few more times. So we're going to knit through the back loop. And again, when you're knitting normally, you go like this, right? Knitting through the back loop, you go through the back like that. And then we're going to knit. All right, and here's the funky pearl again. Bring it forward like you normally would. And you're going to stick it behind. See how I'm going behind? and in that stitch like that and purl. And that's how you purl through the back loop. So we'll do it a few more times. We're going to knit through the back loop, bring our yarn forward and purl through the back loop. The purling is the hardest one to get, but once you get it, then it's like, oh, okay. And it makes total sense. I'm going to, oh crap. I think I, no, I did that right. Okay. <laughs> nope. I think I, I think I just purled a knit stitch. I did. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll fix that later. I'll just keep showing you what we're doing. <laughs> so purl through the back loop and knit through the back loop. Purl through the back loop and again we stick it in from behind and into the stitch. It's really hard to explain that um, but hopefully you can see it and it makes sense. So knit through the back loop and 
if I can get it in there. Pearl through the back loop. And one more time. Knit through the back loop. And pearl through the back loop. And that's how you do it. That's really that simple. Um, just knitting through the back loop and purling through the back loop. And again, it just gives you a really nice, neat ribbing there. Um, but again, I also think that regular one by one rib, just knit, knit and purled like you normally would also looks beautiful. So it's just kind of a personal preference, you know, whatever, whatever you prefer. Um, again, it takes a little longer to knit one, purl one through the back loop. Um, but it does look really pretty and it's just something kind of different. It's just a really cool skill to have. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. That always helps out. You can find all of my videos on my channel. Um, you can find all of my patterns on my Ravelry store and in Etsy. I will put links to those in the description of this video. And I'll also put a link to my blog. I, um, you know, write about daily stuff there. I put patterns there, free patterns, tips, tricks, tutorials, all kinds of fun stuff on there. And of course, you can also find me on Instagram, which I will also link below. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful and I'll see you next time.